Hi Aquarius, it's Al here to do your um, March, your mid-month, mid-March 2018 reading. Excuse me guys, I'm, I don't know, it's, it's Monday, so that should just sum everything up, it's Monday. Anyhow, uh, let's get started. I have shuffle and prayed over the cards off camera, but we'll give the cards a quick shuffle and then we'll start it up. I hope that everyone is or has had or well, is having a, a really good month a really good uh start to spring the spring equinox and um i think we're in uh, retrograde so keep that in mind all right all right let's go we're gonna do a celtic cross thank you thank you thank you for the messages for Aquarius, true, accurate messages for Aquarius, messages of love and light, messages to guide. All right. Uh, all right. Um, something is saying keep these. It's just the fact that I don't know where they go. Five of water, two of earth, queen of air in reverse, seven of air. All right. Thank you for the messages. Past energies. Page of water. Present energy. All right. Okay. What is Aquarius in control of? Aquarius power. Nine of fire. Hermit. External. Messenger of air, hopes and fears. And the outcome for Aquarius. Six of fire, nice. All right. Bottom of the deck, ace of earth. All right, yes, okay. All right, so money's looking good. It looks like a lot of you are waiting on money or waiting on stability, whatever that means for you. Uh, we have the seven of earth, and then we have a four of earth crossing it. So it's like you've planted seeds somewhere. You've made good investment. You, you're you waiting for the return here with the seven of earth. You may be holding on to the money that you have, um, penny pension, being a miser, whatever you want to call it. But definitely... Um, watching what goes out because <laughs> to be quite frankly not much has come in just yet and you're waiting for for a bulk uh, a large sum of, of money to come in so that you can uh, take care of what you need to take care of in the recent past we have the page of water uh, a good card to have this is the message of love so you know the message the air of love is there um the likeness is here. Love isn't here, but the likeness and, and the fondness is there in the recent past. Uh, the basis for all of this would be the five of water, someone grieving a process, hesitating before making decisions, maybe about a third party situation uh, because they had to choose, actively make a choice with the two of fire to maybe choose a different route, a different path in life. Uh, or away from, you know, someone. And, and they're grieving the fact that uh, they had to move away emotionally from someone, disconnect from partnership. It looks like it was like, uh, it wasn't that great of a partnership anyway. You had a five of water. Or if not that great of a partnership, you weren't the only partner. There were other people involved. And you could be, be dealing with uh, air sign. 
I normally do not read reversals, but this came up in the reverse, Queen of Air. This could be you or your partner. This typically comes up as Gemini for me. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini directly. Uh, it could be any air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but typically this is Gemini. They're coming up in the reverse. They're cold. They could be um, the air signs are the truth seekers. This person isn't giving truth and pretty much doesn't care if they get it either because they aren't being truthful. They could be very cold, spiteful, um, harsh, really hard words. Um, and then the seven of air. Like I said, they could just be deceptive, deceitful here. Uh, this could be you, Aquarius, or uh, another air sign, or someone taking on that air sign, that negative air sign uh, quality, negative air sign um, energy here. All right. <clears throat> the present. The present looks nice. Ace of water, six of earth. Wow. This money that comes in makes you emotionally stable. Sometimes when our, when money is off, of course, when any aspect of of your life is off, uh, off kilter, you're waiting for it, you're in lieu of, you're in the hangman status or whatnot, it can affect other aspects of you. Yes, we all want to stay grounded and and uh, just you know emotionally stable. But when you keep looking at that dwindling bank account and you know that you're in expectancy of, sometimes that can throw your emotions off to where you don't want to deal with um, other people or you just don't have time for emotions. So, But it looks like the six of earth, some, some stability comes in, some charity comes in, the money that you've been, you're anticipating comes in, ace of earth, and it just reignites the the emotional stability for you you know now you can be an emotional giver i don't know where where that came from whatever all right and your power is the nine of fire some of you are at wit's end with a situation um this this situation or this person has taken you through a lot uh ace of earth at the bottom of the deck uh, and then as, as I take off the Ace of Earth from the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Water. It could be a, a water sign that you are um, very defensive, on guard about evaluating the situation for what it may be, for what it is. Uh, seven of Water is here. There may be a level of, of confusion, disillusionment there. Uh, external to you is a hermit. Someone either... This could be a Virgo, someone either going into hermit mode or uh, external to you is a Virgo. Or someone trying to gain mental clarity. Mental, emotional, spiritual awareness and clarity in reference to you messenger of earth yeah definitely could be an earth sign virgo in particular capricorn taurus three of air right in reference to you the heartbreak the separation the divorce they've gone within it could be an air sign too um earth and air There's a lot of earth and air that's pretty much what i see a bit of fire here but earth and air This earth sign, this fire sign has gone within. You're trying to figure out what to do in reference to a, a situation, a relationship, business relationship, romantic relationship, friendship, whatever. Messenger of air, uh, hopes and fears. For some of you, you fear getting the truth. Because you know the truth. You don't want to hear it. And some of you fear having to speak your truth. Because in speaking that truth, it's almost as if it'll be like the ace of sword. It'll it's that divisive truth that that clarity that makes everyone, you know, think a different way. It shifts the energy. 
I think that's why the messenger of air here is in the hopes and fears. Yeah, you hope to get the truth and the clarity, but at the same time, you have to walk a different path once you get the truth. Truth hurts. Truth, truth heals too. Truth just, you know, makes you, you can no longer deny it. If you can't deny something, you've got to face it head on. And some of you don't want to do that. And the outcome is the victory card, the six of fire. Nice. Recognition, victory, promotion, um, public rec recognition. Nice. So, and then the ace of earth at the bottom of the deck. Page of air with the six of fire. Uh, very short message may be coming in. You may be giving it or some. One else is giving it one, like I said, a lot of air energy, Gemini in particular with the Queen of Sword and or the Queen of Air in reverse. Lots of air energy. You could be cutting somebody out. Ace of Earth is here. You got a new beginning, a new foundational beginning, monetary beginning. Looks like a large purchase, uh, something of that nature. The 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 uh, the Pinnacle cards, the Earth cards look very good for you uh what is this page of earth page of air excuse me yeah eight of earth, eight of fire um things could be moving fast with the eight of fire there's a lot of rapid communication you guys aren't face to face but there is communication uh electronic communication of course text message email whatever um Nine of water. Oh, nice. Um, this is what you were hoping for. This is what you manifested. And it might have something to do with the ace of earth. Hangman. Yeah. Some of you are, are in, in limbo. Or, yeah, about something. Or just, you know, you're waiting. There's... The foundation is the air of expectancy here with the seven of earth, the four of earth. The reason why you're at the four of earth is because the seven of earth. And then in the uh, uh, present is the ace of water. Some of you will either in this month or the next month or very, very soon will, you know, get that payout, whatever that may be. All right, I'm going to do a four card spread. In case that didn't resonate with you. Some of you could be dealing with the uh, Pisces too. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer in particular. Some of you at your wits end with a water sign. Uh, yeah. Let's do a four card spread. Just general energy for Aquarius people general energy general messages for aquarius messages of love and light messages of guidance thank you thank you thank you for the general energy for aquarius true oh wow accurate messages three of spades separation divorce uh heartbreak heartache infidelity separation and divorce due to infidelity um unfaithfulness right five of diamonds I think this is this could be a hopes and fear and the, of course the plan cards deck mean a little they have different meanings this is success in marriage and home I think this is what you wanted but it might be that you have to cut something or someone out or you feel left out in the cold or maybe you, you cut another Maybe an air sign, Gemini, Leader, Aquarius out. Yeah, uh, due to an unexpected, unforeseen bad event that came in. Uh, wow. Surrounding maybe the relationship with the four club here. Right, an ending. An ending, but uh, maybe a new beginning. Something's transforming for some of you. Or just a, a flat out ending. But what did I say? But a new beginning, the Ace of Diamond. Look, let me tell you something about this. These Aquarius. Um, 
I'm an Aquarius sign, and I have Aquarius and my chart heavy. So I'm like a real true Aquarius. Um, I can resonate with some of the energy. Definitely about the money. Like we right now, most Aquarius is just like whatever. You know, I can't win in in love. You know what? I win in money then. And then we have the Jack of Diamond. This is the um, the offer of stability. But in the Plan Cards deck, this talks about the dishonest, distrustworthy, uh, unreliable person in your life. This could be an Earth sign, Sun, Moon, or Rising, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Or this could just be a person. You know, this could just be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus who has something to do with the Ace of Diamond. This is a new start, and this could be a new start of a business, a, a, a large purchase, purchase of a home, uh, uh, moving in together, taking things to the next level. Five of spades, but there, there's reversal and cancellation here um, with air. Looks like it's going well with Earth, you know, maybe. Um, reversal and cancellation, also some arguing. Ten of club, and the playing cards deck, the ten of club, is unexpected money. And it sits right in under the ace of diamond nice it also could be you know the release of burden to the and it could be the release of burden because you receive an unexpected money so you know take it as you will two of heart nice a successful relationship sits under the jack of diamond so like i said there could be Six of club, nice success in business and help in business. This could be a partnership in business, and then the two of club, uh, gossip, regret, resentment, choosing a different path here. Then the six of diamond, then the six of heart, and the seven of of a spade. Yeah, just you know, someone just. And it could be an air sign, a fellow air sign that you're, you're, you know, you have relation to. They're just not honest right now. Um, they they aren't coming up in the best light. But you could be having some really good energy and and money and foundational things monetarily. There could be an ending of relationship with an air sign. Uh, maybe because there's problems in the relationship, there's no reciprocity. There could be children involved also. Uh, there could be some, they could be from your past. They could you could be thinking of someone from your past that makes you very happy with it. I didn't see the ten of hearts right here, and then the seven of spades with uh, with the air energy. Uh, my gosh, looks like a water sign. You're defensive about the partnership, but it looks like happiness is there. With air, I don't know if you can really trust that that connection. There is success in partnership, maybe with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, so that's that, guys. Finance, work. If you're looking for a job, it looks like you'll get it. If you're looking for more money on a job, it looks like you'll get it. Um... Do the butterfly oracle cards some additional guidance if you are a business owner entrepreneur in any sense looking to start a business um it looks really good it looks very promising for you if you are waiting on money from from whatever however it looks like it's coming to you uh hang in there hang on it's coming um what else uh, air sign, I don't know, you know, watch out for that, pray about that, uh, watch out for that, be very, um, you know, cognitive of, of, uh, of uh, what's going on with an air sign in your life. All right, take the next step now, nice, whatever that may be for you, parental care, some of you, um, you know, you have to worry about your, your mother, your father your parents, whoever they may be, to you. Um, 
motivation and at the bottom of the deck leaving wow yeah um take the next step now whatever that may be to you like you can fill in the blank here i i mean i could throw out a, a thousand variables to the million of aquarius in the world you know the millions of us so but um take the next step now whatever that means to you if you were hesitating and then you did have a five of hearts hesitating before making decisions take the next step now wow that just really resonated with me i just thought about something all right a uh, parental care for some of you uh the roles have reversed now you know uh the parents need the care they need the help um that may be weighing heavily on your heart uh, parental care it may be clashing with your own care your own self care your own family care it's a it's something else now on your plate parental care uh but motivation is here motivation and then we have leaving and grief work right that would definitely be we had the five of hearts i think in the five of water in both spreads the same card um grieve go through the grieving process whatever it may be if it's um loss actual loss of life of, of a loved one or someone around you grieve give yourself time to grieve if someone is in a state of uh Wow, the state of um, you know, then of of um, losing their life, you you know, deathbed. Kind of was trying to refrain from saying it, but if they are on their, on their deathbed, grieve grieve that process now. Grieve it. Uh, leaving. Some of you are leaving. Leaving jobs. We had the ace of diamond there. Maybe you're going out to self-employment. Self-employment fell out of the deck when I was shuffling off camera. Some of you are leaving jobs. Some of you are leaving relationships. Some of you are uh, leaving homes. Um, actually physically moving. Leaving. Stay motivated. Whatever your motivation is, continue to, to bask in that. Continue to to um, be concerned with just that and nothing else all right so those are the messages for you aquarius i hope that this resonated with you really good energy outside of relationship type stuff but hey it gets better it can only go um up from here right so aquarius remember when in doubt pray i'm praying for you pray for me as well if it's resonated with you please like share comment subscribe to the channel uh what else request a personal reading take advantage of the 30 dollar 30 minute readings um what else what is there what is there uh follow me on instagram insta go ask a question there uh request a personal reading by emailing me tarot of l at gmail.com all information is below thank you once again for tuning in with me take care guys